Hi folks, Olivia here. It occurred to me that I should probably make a quick video explaining how elections actually work and what your vote does since I'm trying to convince you to go take a chunk out of your day to participate. So think, try to picture Canada for a second here. This is how we're gonna start figuring out how elections work. We are a huge country with tons of different resources with very very different types of people and different problems. So how do you govern that? How do you choose people who are going to make the best decisions possible for all the people who live in the country? We live in a democracy. So the idea is that we get to elect people who are going to go and make those decisions on our behalf. Um, but who are these people and where do they come from? Well, they get chosen in elections. Uh, so what happens is the country is chopped up into 338 chunks. Uh, called ridings. And in a perfect world, every one of these chunks would be the same size and they would have the same number of people living in them. But you and I both know we don't live in a perfect world. Uh, so ridings end up being really quirky and different. A lot of the time, urban ridings, so if you're in a, if you live in a major city, ridings can be really, really small but have tons of people in them uh, compared to for example, all three of our territories are ridings by themselves, so they're huge, but they have less people living in them. So what happens when you go to the polls is that people who live in your riding say, you know what, I'm willing to quit my job and go and try to represent you, try and go make good decisions on your behalf. And those people are your candidates. Those are the people whose names you're going to see on the ballot when you go to vote on election day or using one of Elections Canada's other convenient methods. Uh, so how does the election actually work? What happens? Well, in each one of these ridings, each one of these chunks, you're going to have a list of candidates. You're going to have a list of options to choose from. Uh, so if you have, let's simplify the country and say that there are only three ridings. There's riding uh, A, B, and C. So you have three ridings in the entire country. Uh, and let's say that each of those ridings has three candidates. We have three federal parties, makes sense. And we're going to call them each one, two, and three. So these are the options of what can happen in an election. Let's say that in election A, uh, all the people, all the constituents, all the people who live in this chunk go to the polls, but most of them go and vote and say, you know what, the best option for us is number two. So this is going to be the person who gets to become your member of parliament because they got the most votes in their riding. That's how first past the post works. Maybe uh, in riding B, they decide that candidate one is the best person for them. So that person will become their member of parliament. And if person two in C gets the most votes, what will happen is because there are two twos and only one one, they're actually going to be the ones who get the chance to form government. So if you have this result, you would have the government formed by people who belong to two ideology, uh, and then the opposition would be formed by one. Uh, in real life, you have hundreds and hundreds of members of parliament, and so the results can be pretty different. Um, but that's how elections work in a nutshell. Everybody over 18 gets one vote, you get to vote for candidates in your riding, and then whichever party gets the most candidates elected is the one who's invited to form government. And the leader of that party is the one who becomes prime minister. I'm going to repeat that once. We do not vote for presidents like they do in the states. Whichever party has the most candidates elected in the general elections is the one who gets to form government. Uh, just thought I'd give you some context. If you have any questions about that and you want anything clarified, let me know. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.